Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at 6. The broadcaster Stuart Hall has had his prison sentence for sex offences doubled to 30 months at the Court of Appeal. The case was referred by the Attorney General after complaints that the original sentence was unduly lenient. Hall admitted 14 counts of indecent assault against girls as young as nine between 1967 and 1987. The judge said the presenter had got away with it for decades and lived a lie more than half his life. Our Home Affairs correspondent Tom Simons has more. Yes, Fiona, these warnings come directly from the doctors. They create a picture of a health service which is failing to cope, with some surgeons suggesting the pressures they're under are partly due to financial cutbacks. Today, managers have told us they are proud of the treatment offered here, but they accept there are problems scheduling people for treatment, with 12 people dying in the last 50 months as they were uh, scheduled to receive cardiac surgery. I'm here live at... Henley College to find out about the opinions of students on leaving the NUS. Revealed a church that no longer wants to stick just to rigid moral absolutes but wants to live in the real world with all its messy compromises, if that's what it takes to help the poor and the oppressed. Robert Piggott, BBC News, at St Mary's in Kennington. An Egyptian court has ordered the further detention of the ousted President Mohamed Morsi. He's accused of conspiring with the Palestinian militants Hamas to organise a prison breakout and the murder of policemen during the uprising in 2011. In the controversial election of the new president, Malia Boutsaya, NUS's first black Muslim president, students from several universities, including Oxford and Cambridge, are threatening to vote to break away from the National Union of Students. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at 6. The broadcaster Stuart Hall has had his prison sentence for sex offences doubled to 30 months at the Court of Appeal. The case was referred by the Attorney General after complaints that the original sentence was unduly lenient. We're trying to strengthen Syrian President Assad's positions and what risks are now posed tonight by the presence of both US and Russian pilots in action in the same theatre of war, apparently without proper communication. Also tonight, the... In the controversial election of the new president, Malia Boutsaya, NUS's first black Muslim president, students from several universities, including Oxford and Cambridge, are threatening to vote to break away from the National Union of Students. I'm the big man at the wrestling ring, after something happened there, and now we join Sam at the wrestling ring for more. policy which is to hire on merit and merit alone. We're a niche highly skilled business and that sometimes means we do need to bring employees from outside the UK and that's purely because they are the best people and the best candidates for the job with the right specialty. What do you think about colleges and universities leaving the NUS? I don't think it's right because they should allow um, the NUS to provide more students because they can't really get something like that. He himself has never uttered anything that says, I am sorry for what I did, I am sorry for the hurt and the long term damage and in some instances psychological uh, impact that he'd had. In, and as a group they were expressing to us very clearly that they thought the current situation was unsustainable and something had to I think it would be bad because there'd be like less resources and stuff and um, like you wouldn't have a union so you wouldn't have anyone to like speak for you either.
Oh, we had a few technical issues with that. Now, some departments at Wales's biggest hospital have been branded dangerous, with patients left to die while on waiting lists for heart surgery, and that's according to surgeons. 2,000 operations at the University Hospital of Wales in Cardiff were either not scheduled or cancelled in the first three months of this year due to a lack of beds. Well, our Wales correspondent, Howell Griffith, is at the hospital. Howell, what's particularly disturbing about this is that the report was compiled by surgeons themselves. Yes, Fiona, these warnings come directly from the doctors. They create a picture of a health service which is failing to cope, with some surgeons suggesting the pressures they're under are partly due to financial cutbacks. Today, managers have told us they are proud of the treatment offered here, but they accept there are problems scheduling people for treatment, with 12 people dying in the last 50 months as they were uh, scheduled to receive cardiac surgery. Hello, thank you for that, Johnny. Uh, we're here with Farrell Williams, who uh, won three Grammys yesterday at the Oscars. Uh, so yeah, how was that? How was that feeling uh, that you were rewarded by your fans and your mum being in the audience? And so was it all worth it? A commercial future has been secured for all eight major games venues on the park as the site is slowly turned into a new neighbourhood for the city. Legacy officials warn it will take much longer to regenerate the surrounding boroughs but say that progress has been made. We've made a good... St <laughs> right, 